Hey, what's up? Today's video is sponsored by the flow, but all thoughts and opinions are my own. So really quick before we get into this desk, I wanted to give a little bit of a background story. In college, I fell in love with a desk company called Artifox. It was the material, it was the design, it was the functionality, cable management, everything being so integrated. And I knew that even though they were premium and expensive, I would one day own my very own Artifox desk. I never did end up owning an Artifox desk. And in fact, when sit-stand desks came onto the market, Artifox never made one. They now, I think, only have a standing desk option. So I got a sit-stand desk kind of early on and I fell in love with the idea. I have terrible back pain, so being able to sit and stand throughout the day is just an incredible thing to have. So since that time, I have been looking for something to rival the aesthetic, the functionality of the Artifox desk, but in a sit stand desk. And until this point, I had not found it. The one desk to rule all desks and the Beflo Tenon is that desk. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why I love the Beflo Tenon desk so much and why I do think it's the perfect desk. Before I do that though, this channel is all about tech, minimalism, intentional living, and more. So if that sounds cool to you, make sure to subscribe for more. So I think when thinking about desks or workspaces, the perfect desk or workspace has to fall on a perfect balance between form and function. I've found that most sit-stand desks are pretty bare bones when it comes to functionality. They may look nice, they may have cool tech as far as the, the ability to rise and fall and set your custom modes, but in terms of cable management, in terms of functionality, with the accessories and things that we need to be using day to day, they tend to fall short. Because of this, we end up having to find our own ways of cable management, of accessories that allow us to do certain tasks, and they're all third party. They tend to sit on the desk or have, you know, as far as cable management, they're under the desk in a really weird, baskety, janky sort of way, and it causes a lot more junk clutter on your desk than I would like. And some people like that. Some people like having a ton of themed out, kitted out stuff that all matches and is just a nice looking sort of busy aesthetic. But I really love a clean, minimal look. I think that the tenon strikes the balance between form and function perfectly, which we'll get into here in a minute. So I want to start by discussing the form, the aesthetic, the design of the tenon and why I think it's so great. So in terms of aesthetic look. There are a few different options you can choose from, which I love. They're all amazing. And the thing with me is ever since I fell in love with the Artifox desk, I wanted that dark wood um, desktop. And so I chose to go with the dark wood look on this desk with the black legs. I think that the lighter wood option with the white legs looks absolutely incredible as well. And I had a hard time choosing between the two. And then just overall materials, the metals, the wood itself, even the plastics just seem solid, smart, well thought out. The next big thing for me are the dimensions. The dimensions, in my opinion, are perfect. I find a lot of times sit-stand desks are pretty shallow. And so what happens is, especially if you have a monitor, the monitor ends up being so close to your face because you've only got about two feet of desk to work with, let alone having a keyboard, you end up having to have your arms sort of off the desk to type. And I do like being able to rest my arms and type. There's plenty of room here to have a monitor, to have some space for notes or whatever, to have the keyboard and mouse. So the depth is a big thing. And I think <clears throat> width is pretty standard, pretty perfect for this desk. It's just a good size in my opinion. So the dimensions, the materials, the curves, the lines, um, even just the way the metal flows into the wood, it all just creates this elegant heightened look to your workspace that can really blend into any sort of setting. The final thing are the accessories themselves. So not just the desk, but all the accessories that Beflo has made for the desk are also well thought out 
great materials. There's just so much time and effort put into them that you can tell. And not only do the individual accessories stand on their own, but they blend in seamlessly with the other um, materials being used for the desk itself with the color scheme. Even the packaging and the boxing all has a unified look to it, which is just awesome in my opinion. It's just, it's the thought that counts and the amount of time and effort I'll say it over and over again throughout this video, which I already have, but the time and effort and thought and, and just, I don't know, put into all of this stuff to make it cohesive, work together well, and just be a part of a unit is, is amazing. It's incredible. And I just think the design of it all um, as a whole unit or individually is just a huge win that I feel there aren't any to my knowledge, but there probably are some other desk, sit stand desk manufacturers going that distance, right? They make the desk, they ship it. Um, this is a, a workspace. This is an environment you're creating and it all fits and works together so well. So just on aesthetics alone, this is a premium product line and it feels premium. And we haven't even gotten into functionality yet. <laughs> So we're gonna do that now. So for me, I think when it comes to functionality of a desk or workspace is having all of the necessary tools that you need, but having them out of the way while you're using them and after you're done using them. If they don't need to be in a place where you need to touch it, it needs to be out of the way. It needs to not even be visible. And I think the Tenon does that really well. And it does it in quite a few innovative ways. So the first way is this slot here at the back of the desk, which actually allows you to put cables, accessories down through the desk instead of around the back or around the sides, which especially if you're against a wall or in a tight space that can look terrible if you have a desk that's not facing a wall it's facing others it can look bad with all these cables coming around it's just visible it gets cluttered having this slot is something that the artifacts desk is where I first saw this option and one of the main reasons that I loved it so the fact that this desk has this is incredible and they didn't just stop with a way of putting cables down through the desk there are a few things they then do under the desk which just really elevates this idea of the functionality being out of the way, out of sight, out of mind, but still in a functional place of use. One of the ways they do this is one of their accessories called granite, which is this sort of lateral bar that goes across the, the bottom back of the desk, which has a few cool features. First of all, there's a track, a metal track that runs across um, the whole uh, width of the desk, which allows you to take um, the proprietary other accessories and run them, hold them along there in a place where they're easily accessible down through the top, or even if you needed to get under the desk and mess with them, you're not messing up in a basket or anything. They're right there in front of you, which is a super nice feature. That metal track is metal so also there are some uses for magnets and holding things in place that way and a lot of their product lines which make use of that space either have um, a clip that runs along that or they are magnetic which is just super super cool and well thought out there are also two large um, compartments under the desk sort of more in the middle of the desk where you can keep uh, extension cords, wires that are a little bit longer that you don't want just held along that granite area. You want them tucked away. You don't need to see them. Um, it's just a way of keeping that stuff out of sight, out of mind. And then following that, which it sort of bridges, there's a thing that sort of bridges those two. So the compartment and the granite itself is there's a lot of Velcro areas. So if you have cables running from desk down to granite and then need to be run into the store storage compartment. They're not just loose wires hanging. There are Velcro straps you can tie around the cords and then in between the granite and those storage compartments on the bottom back of the desk is a Velcro-ish area. So you can push those wires up into that area and they'll stay there. They're tucked up nice and firm underneath. And it's just this bridge. It's this extra step that Buflo has taken to really, again, add to that functionality uh, and to keep things clean and tidy and out of the way while you're doing your best work. There's even a very small accessory called a clasp, which allows you to take third party things like a hard drive or something and actually being able to make use of that tract on the granite by using the 3M tape um, 
on the back of whatever accessory that might be and then being able to slide that on there so that's a nice feature as well not just first party but being able to use third party accessories as well and keep them in that cool organized fashion which is really nice finally there's even a product called creek which simply keeps the cord needed to power the desk and all the accessories against the back leg of the table it's magnetic it just kind of hugs the wire against the leg to keep it nice and clean and then you run from the bottom of the leg to the wall again just another product just well thought out in terms of form and function so something i love is unlike many other sit stand desks that have the two really thick legs with the wide base this desk has a really cool integrated motor system to be able to power four legs which i think looks better in my opinion it gives that traditional desk look and it's more stable as well it doesn't wobble even at full height there's just a certain amount of structure in place there where two legs is not able to do that. Speaking of the motor that raises and lowers the desk, it's nice and quiet. And there are even sensors to say your desk is coming down and your chair is accidentally under the desk. If it feels that it's pushed on something, it will just stop instead of trying to continue to run through and kind of burn out that motor, which is a nice feature to have. So there are a ton of other functional accessories on this desk, which I'll, I'll show some now. Um, these are also well thought out. Like I said before, they really fit the form of the desk and the idea and even just the naming of which i meant to mention this earlier about um, the design but the name of each accessory is themed and it's topography it's nature related and i i love that um, it makes talking about the products more fun instead of saying you know um the metal thing that goes down the side of the leg that has some crazy like TX4TQ naming, it's, it's the creek, right? It's the load, it's the slant, right? We have these cool names. So the accessories are super, super valuable and almost anything that I could think of that I would need as you know a modern day desk worker, they have taken care of with their product line and these accessories that you can purchase from them. So again, it's not just something you need to have sitting on your desk a third party thing for functionality, but they've really thought through everything that the modern worker could use and have added it to their product line, fully integrated, cohesive throughout the whole entire workspace. So in terms of software or uh, user interface as well, the desk does have this small little screen here on the side, which allows you to control the sitting and standing. There's also this horizon light bar here, which is a super nice touch. And you can control the colors there, the brightness. You can even control your sit stand reminders. This desk has a sensor that can tell when you've been there for a while. You can either turn that on or off or just have a timed reminder. You know, every half hour change from sitting to standing, which can all be done on this little screen here, or you can actually connect the desk to a mobile app, which I think is really neat as well. I don't like that it is a yearly subscription for the app, and I think it's 80 or 90 bucks. I don't like that. I don't think you should have to pay for the app, but um, other than that, I mean, the app is great. You get a free 30 day trial, I believe, which is cool. And there is some interesting functionality with the app. Um, but most of the things you can do on the app, you can do right here on the screen on the desk. So that might be something you don't even worry with. The desk also has some integrated charging ports up here at the front of the desk. There's a USB-C, USB-A, and there's even a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack where you can plug your headphones into the desk. The line runs through the desk and then out the back. So you can then plug that into your computer or any sort of um, external dongle for your laptop. So you can actually listen plugged in with your headphones instead of trying to find a way under, around, over the desk to plug it in your computer. It's right here at the front. You can unplug it easily, take your headphones off, walk away, which I think is just a, it's a cool feature. I don't really use wired headphones anymore, but if I did, I could see that being a really nice feature. The last sort of accessory I wanted to talk about was the sink line and it's this really cool thing that works with the granite along the bottom that allows you to actually put your laptop down through this back channel here to keep it out of the way while you're working, um, connected to everything but out of the way but still available to grab quickly uh, to get up and go when you need to. I also would love to try and see if I could put my Mac mini in the sink line, which I feel like you could um, just to sort of keep the Mac 
like many out of sight as well, but have that always on, always connected computer to the desk as well. So that's an option. I could go on and on talking about the accessories, the desk, but I, I think you get the picture. This desk is incredible. There's a few minor things I have problems with. Like for instance, the creek, which connects um, the cable for the desk to the leg of the desk magnetically. The magnets aren't super strong and that can get kicked off every now and then, but that's not a huge deal. Or the fact that the app costs money to use, I think is a little silly, but that said, there aren't a lot of things I have uh, problems with with this desk. And even still, I think it is 100% worth the price. I think it's um, just the best desk out there, whether you work from home, whether you're a gamer, whether you are a YouTuber, whether you um, are at the office and you just need a nice area to work. I think this desk, or even just in your like living room, it looks so nice. It's not a sore thumb sticking out. And I think it's just a well-rounded workspace for really anyone who works at a desk. I am honored to have been sent this desk by Buflo. Um, I'm honored to have worked with them a little bit on some content for their end. And I just, I love the company. I love the founder. We've been emailing back and forth. It's been a blast. I think it's a great company. I'm excited to see where they're going in the future. The desk is just awesome. And I think, again, in my opinion, this is the God of all desks. This is the greatest desk <laughs> that exists on the market today and you should totally pick one up. So check it out. If you want to purchase the desk, use my affiliate link down below in the description. It'll help me out and I will appreciate you forever. If you have the funds to buy a premium desk like this, this is the one you should get. I have no doubt in my mind. And again, Buflo didn't ask me to say anything in particular about this desk. This is just how I feel about it. So this is an honest review. I'm excited to start using this desk daily for my daily working tasks and get out of this racquetball court here and into the office. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one. I think you're going to love it. Subscribe if you want to see more content and like this video so we can absolutely confuse and demolish the algorithm. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.